We are finally here, Toast. We've wanted to do this for so long, and now it's finally that time. Damn right. We always have so much to talk about. We might as well let the people see some of the ridiculous stuff that comes to our minds. I have wanted to get your opinion on Naraka since we played it. So, what's your take? Uh, the beta showed promise, but unfortunately fell short due to technical issues such as frame rate drops, but the devs did address this by giving everyone free in-game currency. I gotta give them that. They at least gave us something for the... And let me excuse myself when I say this, horrible load-ins, game stutters, and freezes when you're in a fight. I have to be honest, I wasn't a big fan of the beta at all compared to the alpha. Especially with that spear. I mean, what the hell is that? Yeah, the spear is OP. They did nerf it a little, hope they take it down another level or two. Would love to see some more weapons added, such as some badass nunchucks. What weapons would you like to see added? Well, I didn't think much about that, to be honest. But now that you mentioned nunchucks, I can definitely imagine some dope nunchucks in there. Especially with all the cool weapon skins they have, like the octopus grapple. But I think it'd be kind of cool to see like a blow dart gun that you can use to poison or slow down someone's movement. Like imagine being in a tree and <laughs> blow dart. But for real, for real, I think it'd be cool if they added some type of Tonto. The Samurai love them and use them all the time. They sure did. I also think they should add in duos as a game mode option. Facts. Sometimes you just don't want to do a solo game because you want to play with the homies, but you only have one on. That's something that I was just scratching my head at when I opened up the game. Solos, trios, just add duos. Okay, okay. I know it might sound like I'm just talking shit on the game, but we did have a lot of fun playing it. I mean, especially in those customs games that you can set up. I would say that the most fun I had was when me and you just fist to cuff battled on that pillar. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. What are some character abilities you would like to see added to the game? They already kind of have a good amount of different abilities. Healer, silent, defender, one that's like a tank, and an attacker. But I just think for the last of it, adding in another guy that turns into a monster like the Bell Dude would just be fun. Just to have some monster battles. Now onto my main problem of the game, which is that when you get knocked on the ground, you literally can't do anything and you're just screwed. If they could even just fix that, I'd be on board. Yeah, getting stuck on the floor, getting jumped by three other players is the worst. I would love for them to improve the blocking system. I don't know if maybe I'm not good at it. It does seem some players are, but it just doesn't feel that intuitive. Maybe by adding a directional indicator like For Honor. Ooh, that is such a good idea. A For Honor system would be dope in this game. And yeah, I don't know if I'm just bad at it or what, but you're right, it just feels off. So I'm hoping they can make a change when the game drops. I'm gonna be honest though, I might have taken back my pre-order. What? Why? Don't you want to see if the game improves? There's still time. You know, sounds like a pretty rash decision, mister. You might want to reconsider. Here's the thing. Nah. Plus, I've been playing too much Final Fantasy to play anything other than Gunfight or Knockout City. And with Battlefield 2796 coming out not too long from now, I'll be playing all of those. I might reconsider when it actually comes out, but for now, I shall save my $20. And the rewards I got for pre-ordering, I got to keep. So, ka-ching! Uh-oh, we might want to delete that. FBI, open up! Speaking of Battlefield 2042, a lot of information is circling out on the interwebs and I believe you have taken the liberty of fighting against all misinformation out there and compiled a list of everything we know about the game so far. What do you think is the first piece of information Earth humans should know? Well, I don't know if you know this too, Toast, but Battlefield this year is taking the direction of specialists, like in Rainbow Six, and the weapon classes aren't locked to a certain type. Oh, whatever do you mean? Well, in the old Battlefields, you chose Assault, Medic, Engineer, or Recon. In this Battlefield, you choose a specialist who comes with different specialties. Original, right? And you can use any weapon class with that specialist. Eventually, there will be 10. Like there's this one guy named Webster Mackey. His thing is he has a grappling hook. I honestly really like this concept since it doesn't lock you into a specific weapon class with one ability. Like before, to heal, you had to use SMGs. Now you can choose someone who has that specialty, and you can use whatever gun you want. That's a really interesting change and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Are there any other major changes to the game Earth Gamers should be aware of? Uh, yeah there is. Another really cool feature that they're adding is something that they call the plus menu. Amazing, right? You saw the trailer, right? 
When they were in the elevator and they changed to a shorter barrel for the roof battle, that's the plus menu. They made it so you can customize your weapon on the fly for different situations within seconds apparently. As soon as you open up the plus menu, you can change to a shorter barrel or a suppressor or whatever attachments you have unlocked. So realism is out the window. Pretty sweet if you ask me. Much rather have that perfect blend of realism with gaming functionality to hopefully makes for some really interesting gameplay. No, no, I agree, it definitely makes it fun, but it looks like their military is so advanced that if you can't disassemble your gun on the battlefield within seconds, because you have an extra barrel on you of course, then what are you doing there? But on a real note, this feature will either go really good or really bad. I could see so many instances where this is going to come in handy. I mean, think of all the sniper variations that you can make. Mmm, snipers. Uh, you okay there bud? Do you uh, need the change? Anyway, the biggest difference is going to be the no single player mode, which I like, and here's why. What they're doing is they're going to do the multiplayer in seasons, and as the season progresses, it's going to tell a longer, more drawn out story. So technically there is no single player, but there is through multiplayer missions and cutscenes. I'm not exactly sure how they're implementing it, but it leaves more time for them to have a badass multiplayer. Yeah, and multiplayer is going to support up to 128 players on next gen and PC. Yeah, I'm pretty positive it's going to be crossplay. Plus, they want to add some sort of free to play feature so that people can dip their feet into Battlefield. They just haven't announced exactly what it's going to be. Oh, I wasn't aware of that. That sounds pretty awesome. Maybe some sort of trial period? Maybe. But I think it's going to be the game mode that they're adding. It's called Hazard, and it's new this year. Oh, what is Hazard mode? Uh, please explain. Well, that's where it gets a little foggy. All they have really said for it is, and I quote, it is not a battle royale and there is not one currently in development. So I'm not really sure. I'm thinking maybe something like a crazy PvP area with crazy stuff happening and events, like in The Division. But The Division was an open world game and you had to go to that zone, so it can't be that. I don't know, but it's definitely going to be something completely new and I'm excited. Yeah, I love new. I'm sure there's going to be a ton of new weapons to try out as well as a lot of returning favorites among the Battlefield community. Can't wait to get my hands on the game and find out what my main is. So how do you feel about it being kind of futuristic? Like it looks like there's a bunch of flying stuff, even normal bikes or something, as opposed to just planes. You think they'll pull it off or it'll end up like an infinite warfare debacle where they change just too much? Everything I've seen so far has me hopeful they're definitely going to nail this. Looks to me like EA and DICE have not only learned from their decades of experience making games, but also more importantly the fans of their games. Should be an amazing experience, I just hope they don't fuck it up with microtransactions. True, I didn't even think about that. If they add in too many skins, I think it would be pretty bad. I'm a firm believer and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And they broke Firestorm and learned. No more Battle Royale. So I'm happy to see Battlefield get to its large scale roots. Yeah, and just think about all that destruction. Gonna have whole buildings coming down on you. I just know I gotta blow up one myself. Hell yeah, brother. FBI, open up! They have to be adding some new stuff within the destruction. They always do. And since we're talking about destruction, this is a perfect segue into what I wanted to ask you next. How have you been feeling about us hopping back onto modern warfare and destroying people? Be honest now. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, gunfight has been where it's at. Warzone has been feeling good lately too. Gun balancing still needs some work, but it looks like they're getting there. If only they could get rid of all the cheers. And Dead Silence. All my homies hate Dead Silence. How about you? I would love to know your thoughts. Well, I can't believe I'm saying this, but Warzone has actually been pretty fun. Except for Dead Silence, it's time for it to be out of the game. Take it out of Warzone right now. But other than that, I've played more in the last week or two than in the last couple months. And I haven't ran into many campers except when I play solo, which is expected. Duos, trios, and quads is so much fun right now. Plus you can still play the prison map where you can respawn after you die. That one is always fun because it's a battle royale TDM. When Girth and Knots, you and I played, that was so much fun. Yeah, yeah, one of my favorites as well. So yo, I made a little montage of all of our dope clips from Gunfight recently. You uh, wanna check it out? Yeah, roll that. Pretty sure I can pull it up right there. Okay. 
three, two, one. You win. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. So, all right. Most of those were your clips anyway. Well, Toast, I think it's lunchtime before I stream, which is on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. For everyone watching after the fact, where can everyone find you at on socials? You can find me at Toasty underscore MM and anywhere there's some good butter, baby. Toast, you still on butter overload? Oh, God. You guys can find my Twitter at Penguino underscore MM and at Penguino underscore Mutant Media on Insta. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like this episode and follow us on TikTok and everything else at Mutant Media. But seriously, follow us on TikTok. TikTok. <laughs>